Trevor Noah, Seth Myers, more blast Hurricane Trump for press conference antics. Though President Trump's unconventional press conference Thursday threw some late-night shows for a loop, like Pottis Long Ties, it provided plenty of material for all. We had a really nice show planned for you, Noah explained to his audience. Very civil. Very calm. And, then in the middle of the day Hurricane Trump happened. Again. So instead, of whatever he had previously planned, Noah analyzed the press conference, which he assessed to be like six days in length. He gave kudos to the reporter who refuted President Trump's claim of getting the biggest electoral college win since Ronald Reagan. In 2012, former President Obama was elected with 332 electoral college votes and with 365 in 2008. Former President Clinton received 379 votes in 1996 and 370 in 1992, and George Hecto with Bush received 426 votes in 1988. Noah also called Pottis out for seeking out a friendly reporter, and not directly answering his question of how the government will address anti-Semitism. Beyond Trump's completely botched attempt at reassuring the Jewish community, What's even more striking in that interaction is that you have a president of a democracy who thinks press is only valid when they ask him easy questions, Noah assessed. Questions that he likes. In fact, in his mind, he deserves it. What are you going to do about anti-Semitism? We're going to stamp it out. Done. That's all you had to say. That was the softest ball possible, a matzo ball if you will. What a putz. Like Noah. Meyer's plans for Thursday's episode changed after a expletive, crazy press conference. Myers shredded a now completely meaningless script and proceeded with freshly penned quips. Just to give you an idea of how all over the place this press conference was, at one point, Trump made this bizarre claim about the drug problem, the late-night host said, before showing a clip of Trump claiming drugs have become cheaper than candy bars. Myers did not agree. I think I know what happened here. Showing a picture of a 100 grand candy bar, Donald, that's not the price. That's the name. Fallon began his showing Trump attire and armed with a tiny, prop hand to parody the press conference for a cold open. Some might be excited about the giant Rwamba. Fallon's Trump is collaborating on with Elon Musk to clean up the mess he inherited. Others can rejoice about the new Secretary of Labor, Beyonce because who knows more about going into labor than someone carrying twins. Fallon also addressed the press conference in his monologue, joking that President Trump's press conference today lasted for an hour and 15 minutes. Though an hour of that was just scanning the room for a reporter who wouldn't ask a tough question.